Hi everyone, my name is Dr Ruth Mary Allen and I'm very excited because today is International Women's Day and I thought I'd bring you this blog to really celebrate our uniqueness as women and help us think about how can we really create the right space for us to flourish and grow. So this is really relevant whether you are a leader in a business, where you're leading others and serving others, or whether it's particularly looking at yourself and looking at how you can create that right space for yourself to really flourish. And we can think about this in terms of the acronym CREATE. So first of all, what does C stand for? Well, C stands for creating the right culture. So in this aspect, are you in the right culture to allow yourself to flourish? Do you have a culture of caring around you? Are you in a space where you feel that you can trust other people and that they are there supportive and helping you grow? I know for me personally a classic example of not being in the right culture was when I was working for a company and we went to a meeting and we were told that this is a completely closed forum, please express yourself, express your views, um, it's closed, trust me, it's absolutely fine and I expressed my views of what I think could change and actually that went straight back to somebody within the business who then phoned me the next day expressing their dismay as, as to why I'd said the things that I'd said. So that really told me that I really couldn't trust that person and I certainly couldn't trust the culture because it wasn't a place that was conducive for me to really express myself and be the person that I wanted to be. So are you as a leader creating the right culture for others to flourish, to really express their true selves, to have that space to be unique, to be that person that you've employed and allow them to exude their uniqueness out into your business so that they can really help your business grow. So C, culture, really important. The second thing that we can think about in terms of creating the right space is reward and recognition. So we see in the news businesses who have senior executives who are rewarding themselves huge amounts of money and actually not paying the people, the employees of the firm and that firm is going down the pan. And that, that obviously doesn't create the right space for people to really flourish. And if we think about it as a, as a business, are you as a leader in your business really rewarding and recognising the contributions that your employees make? Are you giving them true recognition of the efforts that they have put in to support business growth? If your business is reporting major profits, are you translating those profits back to your employees to encourage them to really help your business grow more? Or is there a disconnect between what you're reporting in your business in terms of your growth and what you're actually rewarding your employees and recognising their contributions in support of that growth. And if we don't have that right framework, if it's a framework that's not conducive to collaboration, maybe it's an incredibly competitive framework in the organisation, then it's very difficult to create that right environment for people to feel that they're being rewarded and recognised. So that brings me neatly on to the next one. So E is for environment and this isn't just about the space, think about the equipment, the facilities that are provided for your people in your organisation. Are you creating the right environment for those people to flourish and express themselves, be that unique person? This could be as simple as providing the right desktop configuration, so making sure that the screens are working, that people have a, the right chair to sit on, that their display screen equipment DSE setup is appropriate for them to really be able to be productive during their work day. And also creating the environment that allows people to really re-energise one. Classic example here is, do you have the infrastructure in your business or nearby your business so people can re-energise whether that is going to the gym 
or having that space, that time out to have some mindfulness, to have some relaxation and recharge, does your business have that right environment for people to really flourish and grow? Next one, A, is actions. So are you as a leader or as, you an, as an individual really taking the right actions to allow yourself to flourish and grow? Are you doing the things that are important? Are you showing up with your mindset that is supportive of the culture, the cultural framework that your business is portraying? Are you displaying those cultural aspects or are you doing one thing and saying another? And that's really important. So as a leader, it's important to lead by example, to do the actions that support all of these above things so we can really create the right environment for others to flourish and also for ourselves to flourish. And similarly, as an individual, are you doing what is important to you to really be the person that you want to be, to grow in the, into the person that you want to become? Are you doing the right things to move yourself forward? And are these in place within the work environment or the space that you're operating in, whether that's at home or in the community, to really allow you to flourish? So second from last, T is for time. So here we are in a very busy, digitised world. Are you really taking the time out for yourself to think about what is really important for you so that you can strategize and think about the activities, let's go back to the actions, the activities that are necessary for you to flourish. Are you taking that time to connect with others? Are you taking the time to connect with your employees, not just over a webinar or, or um, a, a message through email? Are you actually physically taking that time to connect with people? And what more could you do as an individual or as a leader to take that time out? We're so busy that we really forget to allow time for ourselves. One classic example here is people checking their email in the morning as soon as they get up. That is a great way to decrease your productivity. We know from studies that your productivity can decrease by up to 30% in a week if you're spending the first hour of your day looking at emails. So it's important that we take that time out, own our morning, take the time out to think about how we can really create that right space for ourselves and others to flourish and be that unique person that we want to be. Now finally, the final one is energy. So are you showing up with positive energy in everything that you do? Can you generate that energy, that vibrancy that's really important for you and for you to role model to others? Do you, Or do you go into a room with a negative attitude and grumpy, I know I used to do that, I wasn't in the right environment for me to grow and that really depleted my energy levels. So what can you do to generate more energy in the life? Perhaps it's taking that time out to really think about what is important or to rest and recover. Perhaps it's looking at what actions you're taking throughout your day or your week that are supporting or hindering your energy levels. Perhaps it's the environment that you're in is really dragging you down and that's depleting your energy. Or could it be that the reward and recognition culture, including rewarding yourself and celebrating your successes when you have them, you haven't set that up in place. And finally, perhaps the culture within your organisation is not conducive to helping you flourish and grow. You don't have that culture of caring or perhaps you don't have that culture that really supports you and you feel that you can trust it and express your true self. So today is all about celebrating International Women's Day and it's about celebrating your uniqueness as an individual and really creating the right space for you to flourish. Are you in the right space for you to flourish? What can you do differently to create that culture, to create that reward and recognition that you need to create the right environment, do the right actions, take the time out for yourself and show up with that positive energy so that you can really flourish and help others to flourish and grow. 
I hope you enjoyed this vlog on International Women's Day. If you feel that you need more support in any of these areas, please do visit my coaching section of my website where you can sign up for a discovery session with myself. I'm more than happy to go through these areas in detail and really help you find the right space for you to grow and flourish.